<laughs> swordfish no. from the background. That's My wife awesome. got on to me for talking about eating <laughs> On the show? Yeah. She's like, you better You did? Eat. Remember? Barely. I like in and out and I respect you guys. And I love it and out, but oh my goodness. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. It's pretty good. What kind of nasty orgasms are you getting in your mouth? Yeah, well, You've never had an orgasm in your mouth? It definitely didn't come from this fucking thing. Bro, you gotta go down more. Yeah, El Paso, my friend. <laughs>so let's play a game i like this game right so this i know is a what this game, game is so james taught me about this game it's a good game so you go on StockX or a goat or your app of choice and you lowball the shit out of people and hope for the best nice <laughs> yeah and he was like it works and i'm thinking to myself really it works and then he started hitting pairs like for crazy cheap yeah so i'm like what can it hurt right so plus there's just stuff out there that's really cool just cool that has no hype behind it yes i started this game a long time ago like i just happened to fall on a pair of New Balances or Sockings, I don't remember what it was, and there was no bid on this. I was like, fuck it, I'll put $30 down and see what happens. Forgot about it. Two months later, bing! It goes off. Cool, no I paid 30 bucks for the motherfuckers and they showed that, up. Man. So that's what I did with this pair, and I've got a few more in the mail that haven't arrived yet, but it works. This is a Saucony Shadow 6000, but it's a collab with Bait. The Bait collab. Your nice. hometown nice. shop. Right, show yep. some joints. Boom! Ew, have me one of those. Cheap. Wow. I got these for 60 bucks. Nice. Have you felt how soft this, this suede is on I this? was surprised to find out the quality of the shoe is actually not bad. Sagan is a dope brand. I don't think it gets enough credit. I mean, everybody's all caught up on, on Jordans and Nikes and Boost and shit. Yeah. Um, they forget about brands like like Sockenies. Low key, some really cool stuff. They do. Actually. They do a lot of cool stuff. They're food great collabs. collabs. And they've got multiple collaborations with Bait. Like they've got the the, far, the these black and gray ones. So there's multiple variations. I think this is one like the sixth variation, maybe the fifth. Either way. You know. But it's, it's an awesome game. I love it. I'm hooked now. So I've got so many bids out there for stuff. Oh, dude, I and you're right, it. it didn't happen right away. They didn't see my offer and just take it. No, right. You wait till like the bills are due, right? Yeah. Wait till the end of the month. It's a forget it's a forget in. about it. If you look at like the history, I mean, these shoes don't sell that often. No, they don't sell. So, so I was like, these are great. Some, some joker bought these to flip though. Someone tried, That's he sad. thought, I mean, these are cool. Yeah, pretty dope, right? What do you got? So I brought, I'm gonna go with the- It's got the same box as the last Michigan 12 from yep, last year. I'm gonna call it the Michigan 5. Bro. Wow. Okay. Check that shoe out. Check oh, okay. Shoe out. So, I mean, obviously Nike's been doing some Michigan inspired stuff, so I can see where this is. <laughs> Plus, so here's here's why I'm gonna call it the Maybe Michigan, so. the Michigans, right? Because they're the five. And if you know anything about Michigan basketball, then you know the Fab Five. five. So. I don't know what these are called, the yellow and blues. I'm gonna call them the Michigan Fat Fives because I like it. This isn't an official Michigan collab. I, it's not. Don't they always do one? It's not. This one actually says Inspire, so a lot of people are calling it that. And I mean, even when you look on the app, it doesn't say anything, but. Did the 12 from last year have the Michigan M yeah, on the back? Yeah, it had the Michigan M on the, on the front, on the, on okay. the tongue. Um, so, th I mean. Wow. So, I, I mean, I think this shoe's fire. So, I missed out on the Tokyos. Um, I, uh, many did, don't worry, many. it's okay. And I had an opportunity to get them at 1200 bucks. And I didn't, because then I passed, and now the shoe's like fucking three grand. It's like four, yeah. your size probably. So, yeah, no, but those are black, one. they're Tokyo. Something release. that looks similar. So the, I mean, I'm gonna try these on. Dude, this is really nice. Like, I like that it's not their traditional yellow, it's like a mustard it, yellow. Yeah. It's real nice, Classic. I'm shocked, this is nice, I'll have to pick a pair up. I, gotta, I bet you I, you're gonna see a lot of guys wearing these with like Michigan jerseys. What's your favorite five ever? Favorite five ever? Yeah. My favorite five ever will be the Metallic Five. Really? Because that was your first shoe, uh, right? The first Jordan I ever bought, ever. First time I was ever able to buy, like, I was able to purchase a pair of Jordans, that was the ones I bought. You could actually dress this pretty easy and it wouldn't be the star of the show, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could blend this with a lot of stuff. Looks good. Kind of a bitch to get on, but boom. Looks good on foot, too. You can wear them shorts. Oh, wow. Those look nice, right? It's hot, bro. I like yes. these a lot. Really nice, actually. A lot of people don't like fives. A lot of people don't like them. I mean, probably because they're big. Are there five haters out there? There's a lot. Yeah, there are people who don't think they're cool. What's there to hate, really, though? 
Is there a big shoe? Kind of clunky. clunky. They're, yeah, they're, I see they're what big. You mean. But they're, I mean, they're dope. The five was the first shoe to have the 3M tongue. You know why they did that? No, I don't. Because Michael Jordan would go up to dunk, and people would take their phone, their cameras out and take pictures. The flash awesome. would hit, so you could right. see it when he would go up and do his thing. So what was the retail on it, James? And that, you pick that's it up the for? hard part. That's the, the tough part. They were a little bit expensive. They were 225. That's like the max they'll do with Jordan. Yeah, that, that's a lot. But it, look, the suede on here is, is nice. It's it buttery. Is. The shoe's cool. I like it. And for not getting a pair of Tokyos. I'll take these. It's a decent consolation prize. Yeah. Not bad. I like it, man. Solid pickup. Bam. You like your, uh, your daybreakers? I actually do, man. They're really comfortable, surprisingly. And they have that old runner looking vibe. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I made a purchase recently, and I, like, I don't know if I got caught in some hype shit. Uh. Um, but uh, I picked <laughs> you never no. But you know what? Just go ahead. Andy, toss me the toss me the undercovers. So this shoe, and I'm, I'm not sure if I got caught in the in the in the glory of all things. The Sakai's were happening around the same time. We'll discuss. But I picked up Ooh, the bro. Sakai or the undercover daybreakers. Hand me one of these way. things. I haven't ever really got a chance to look at yeah. one. Uh, like yeah. I feel like Nike's been on some shit recently, especially with like the throwback shoes. Um, but I don't, you know, this is the first shoe I've ever owned that has a spoiler. This looks like some shit Robin would wear. <laughs> Who's like, Robin? Like Batman and Robin. Holy switcheroo, I should have known. The design, it's got some sure. like superhero cape looking spoiler thing. Yeah. What is happening right now? It, it's, just, it's just among some of the crazy releases that Nike's done recently, because there's some Look crazy shit. Look at this shit. I like it, man. You do? Yes. You I'm like not sure what to make colors? of it. Uh, colors are cool. So look, every time, I, every other Christmas time I look colors, at it, man. I think it's cool. And then like the designs. an hour later, I'm like, I don't like these. You know, I saw them on your feet though, and they look better on the foot. Yeah. Like just holding it, boy, that's I bad. Mean, compared to some shit that's released recently, I mean, undercover, I, I think these are better than the, than the recent uh, off-white drops. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> Andy, would you pass in the, uh, the off-white? Oops. The Terra Tigers. Yeah, this is the off-white Terra Tigers. So these premiered at a fashion event. I think it was Paris, wasn't it? No, I don't think, I don't think it was before Paris. Okay, well, so Virgil was supposed to be done with the 10. Mm -hmm. Might have been done with Nike altogether. No right. one really knew. And then he released some photos and... This came out What of the? <laughs> Are you hell is this, Gapa? man? This is wild. Anyway. This is nuts. What is that? Is that earwax? Look at that crap. Look at the back of that shoe. Yeah, what is it? What's it like for the Iron Man? You can swim and bike and jog and hike? Dude, I don't know what what's it? happening. So it looked, when I, I saw photos, it looked like a hard track spike. Yeah. And that's what it's supposed to look like, but it's not. It's rubbery, really rubbery, and it probably wear down pretty quick. Like the little knobs on yeah. brand new bike tires, you know? Yeah, that kind of like a bend. But it's got this crazy tin foil looking swoosh on one side, and it's got this other one that's really nice. It's like distressed, and it's got paint faded on it. It's got a fuzzy zip tie. That's my favorite part. This is a fuzzy zip tie. It's, it's like, like felt. Felt, yeah. yeah. It's crazy feeling. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? These are awful. They're wild. These are, oh, no, these are bad. I like them. They're, what? They're different. Do you man. really? They're innovative, yes. Hang on. Like the day Hold that. They look much better on Take feet. That. Much better on feet. Putting them on? Like a lot of shoes. You know, you can't really judge it until it's on your foot. This was one of them. I saw a dude take an on, on foot shot and didn't look near as bad as I thought it would. These laces are nuts, man. I don't even know what to do with these things. Yeah, those joints are great with shorts. Look at these. I got a spoiler that's gonna Check keep Check that. Not as bad on foot. I like them both. Cause you can't see the spikes as much, you know? I hate the tongue. I hate the big ass tongue. You don't like the big tongue? Nope. I, I don't. do, I think. I don't like the tongue. I hate the crisscross laces. You know the only thing I really do like, aside from the Volt, I like the inner uh, swoosh. The chrome? The chrome. It's dope looking. Aluminum looking joint. I mean, look. I like how there's random hits of paint too in the sole. Yeah. Like just random. I don't like it. You know I how I've noticed? I, I don't do, like it. Man. I've never noticed this before. What? The R. The trademark? The swoosh, yeah. That is weird. That's, that's a Virgil thing. It's gotta be. It's wild, dude. It's so here, something else. It's, here's what I need to know. This is what I need to know. Are these shoes hype? Or are these shoes good? Both these shoes are Because look, they're, bo they're both they're both part of a big, uh, like Undercover's a big brand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Off-White's a big brand. Hype or real? Honestly, 
I have a prediction on resale. I think that this Kyger is going to go up in value. Yeah, it's okay. a high fashion shoe, right? A lot of hype behind sure. it to answer your question. I mean, they both are. But I think that maybe we'll look at this thing in, I don't know, a couple years and say that's that whack ass cleat. But I think the more people see it, the more they'll kind of appreciate it. The more shots on feet you'll see, I think, if people appreciate it. I think people will wear it because it's off white. And I think people will wear these because they're. You they're make a good undercover. point. This would not be worn if it was something else. Yeah, no. I mean, to me, both of these shoes are just hype, and they're just kind of, <laughs> I'm going to call them mistakes on behalf of the two of us. Mistakes? Yeah. I've made dumber purchases. No, I mean, I'm not I saying that I once a guy that bought a $50 box of cereal and ate it. I heard about that. Facts. <laughs> I've seen that guy. Hype or real? Hype, but I also like it, so at the same time, is it real? I don't know. I'm kind of torn. It's not real. And the general public would probably say, this yeah, shoe it's a hype shoe. will fade away in a month. It's wild. It'll it's fade. Resale right may, may, may increase because they're a virtual shoe, but no one will talk about that shoe. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. As much it's as I like to disagree with you, it's fun. Yeah. I'm going to have to agree it's, with it's, you. Uh, this one is, is, this is hype. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Off The Cut. Make sure you go to our Instagram page at otc.show for the latest show news, updates, and giveaways. I'm Matt. I'm Dapper Dan. And I'm James. Till next time, stay fresh.